just a second. It's coming back on. <clears throat> We're coming back up. We're going to pretend that never happened. The stream had to take a small break. Mm. It had to move away from the mic to breathe. Right. So Ch now that it's back. Chocolate rain. From It's chocolate rain, which is also a dessert over Old Gallo. It is. In Spain. Chocolate rain. <laughs> it's, it's a chocolate wheel that they come out and they just kind of like scrape scrape it off towards you and they just rain chocolate on you. <laughs> it just <laughs> melts. Anyways, miniature gaming, very expensive. Little wall, remember? Little wall? Okay, yeah. so like inch and a half, two inches, three inches wide, whatever, and an inch high. Painted and such. It's like, you can average it out, so let's just say four dollars five dollars for that little piece okay when it's all said and done and so to get this kit to make this one little tiny setup like very very small you're gonna be 45 dollars deep 50 bucks deep for this little tiny thing wow it's like so expensive it's really cool it's all detailed it's awesome but so much money why don't you make so some exactly so with xps foam aka insulation foam which is sculptable meltable paintable burnable snappable dentable texturizable it's it's all things bull you can make your own so for $23 you can buy a one inch thick board that's four feet by eight feet in dimension yeah you can snap it in half and cram it into your car like I did because I didn't have a truck, so I crammed into my car. $23. You take that board home. You can make, like in miniature land, like a mile worth of walls. Oh, wow. Add in some paints in a little bit of time. You're up to 40 $40, and you have like an entire castle wall. You have the Great Wall of China worth of wall. So you just got to get crafty and creative. So I'm over here cutting out little blocks. <coughs> Exhibit A. You can't see those. Wow. I'm going to give you a couple examples. So this is that foam. So there's a few of those. Wow, that's so light. So up for the camera. Little tiny foam blocks. Man, look at you. So you can stack them, you can glue them, you can paint them, you can seal them, and you can make little wall things. And then you can build your own maps and settings however you want. So I'm going to make a little uh, sample wall here for you to show you kind of what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, shaky hand syndrome over here. Oh, okay. Static electricity doesn't help right now either. We're doing arts and crafts, building construction, I'm stacking three blocks. And the three blocks staggered on top of those three blocks. And three more blocks staggered on top of those to replicate a brick wall. So then you glue that onto like a little popsicle stick or something. Hmm. And you paint them all up. And now you have a little wall segment. And you can make your own, your own little buildings for one hundred tenths of the cost of buying it That's standard production. Impressive. So I'm cutting this out with these razor blades, with these X-Acto knives. I'm like, holy cow, these guys, they, they put a lot of time and work into this stuff. This is hard stuff. Yeah. Like, how are their cuts so smooth and, and just beautiful? And then I find out there's this thing called a hot wire tool. Mm -hmm. And I go, oh. It's like a saw, but it's a little wire that goes down into a table. The wire heats up. You run the foam, and it just goes, just melt cuts it like butter. Oh my gosh, that's how they do it. So I spent two hours making enough blocks to make 25 wall segments. If I had a hot wire table, I could have done that in about 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so now this this other side of the hobby of Dungeons & Dragons is starting to grow. Because I've always, I, I, a while back, bought molds, these little plaster molds. You, you can mix up dental plaster, you pour the plaster into the molds, Wait 24 hours, let it dry, pop it out. Oh, cool, paint it up. Oh, no, I dropped it on the table, and it shattered in half. You don't have that problem with foam. You don't, because foam doesn't break like that. Right. It's a lot more durable. It, it's 
sensitive and soft, but it's still durable. Durable. Plaster is like, you drop that from an inch or two on the table, it's going to chip or break if you're not lucky. It takes a long time. It's heavy. It's not really portable. Um, you could get you like one of those little roll around teacher crates where you can like take the top off. It's collapsible. Yeah. You could fill all your little buildings in there and roll that around. And it's only going to weigh as much as the crate because foam is like, it's like air. Air. It's like solidified air chunks that you put in your walls. Hmm. Yeah. So I started doing that. Yeah. Is there any way you can 3D print any of that? I can. Yeah. I can. That takes an absolute eternity, though. I printed out a little 3x3 three three square. Yeah. 3x3. Three three, and, oh, my gosh. It's like estimated time. Three and a half hours. I'm like, for one square? So. That sucks. I'm going to leave that for more printing, like, more, like, like pe people. Like the little miniature people or... People. <laughs> peoples. <laughs> I'm going to print people. Yeah. Print people. <laughs> this is Ted. Hey. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I told you I print people. I print people. So, yeah. There's some cool things that, y that you can print. You can print anything, but... I was talking to one of the guys at work on, on Swings. Yeah. He's 3D printed a bunch of stuff. Um... Yeah, he, I was like, he said he was going through a spool every six days. I'm like, you must have had that thing on nonstop. Spool He's like, yeah. Six days? Oh, my God. Yeah, a spool. That's a ton of of length of, of that plastic. So I'm like, dang. He's like, yeah, I had to buy a second one. And I, I was like, oh, dang. So, yeah, I'm not at the level of a second one. Not even, not. Mm -mm. Wow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here's the other cool thing. Every six days. Every six Daves, he was changing out a spool. Daves. I, that's a lot of Daves. Lot six of Daves. It's a lot of Daves. It's wild. Okay. Six Daves. Six Daves. But that hot wire tool, it cuts foam. It also cuts that cosplay foam. And see, I've seen these cosplayers struggle and just with, with the foam, because everything's by hand, it's very meticulous and all this stuff. Yeah. But if they had that tool, that hot wire tool, just get your pattern out, you know, throw that on that. It's going to be nice. It's yeah. Gonna, it's going to be nice. All so, right. I'm with you. So, yeah. So that's what I'm going to look at. So I'm going to go over to... Uh, cosplay foam. Cosplay foam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a little different than this uh, than this foam that we're talking about. This well, I foam. hope so. Yeah. I mean, you could use that for some stuff. Yeah. Like, you can make surfboards, RC planes, use this foam a lot. Yeah. Because uh, it's really lightweight, and you can make some cool stuff out of it. My grandpa used to build uh, model airplanes. Really? Like, the big RC model airplanes. Oh, my God. Yeah, and wire them up, get the engines in them and everything. And okay. Yeah, he built a, one of the 747, 737. One of the passenger planes. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because it like takes five feet and then it lifts off. Because the it's a good power to weight ratio. Yeah, honestly, that so stuff. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, good stuff. So this foam, it, it's it's very usable. It, it's always around you in the walls, unless you're my home and there's no insulation in the <laughs> walls. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, maybe instead of making miniature furniture, I should just cram this in my wall. <laughs> no, I'd rather build things out of it yeah yeah man yeah. if I had that on my wall I could just rip my wall out and then just take the foam from my see you guys you already have the foam around just rip a hole just in your wall cut some foam out and use it dig it out of your wall oh I've got this fiberglass insulation dang it you do 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 you boo boo <laughs> boo 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 boo. I don't ever want to be called boo boo. No. It sounds like you hurt yourself. <laughs> Ow! You do you, boo boo. I'm going to put a band aid on you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what what was that, boo boo? You. <laughs> he said thanks. What? Weird stuff. It talks back. It talks. Wounds, they talk back. Just but a flesh wound. <laughs> Melly but a flesh wound. Mm. Nothing but a flesh wound. A malash wound. A malash wound? 
I'm a lash wound. <clears throat> so what happens to your tongue when you burn it over at Old Gaio? <sighs> you don't want to get a galesh wound. A malesh wound. What did I say? Malesh wound. A malesh wound. You don't want that. If when you burn your tongue, you try to see my flesh, but it comes out lesh. My right. lesh? Malesh wound. Lesh wound. Malesh wound. Okay. Ooh, wound. Reminds me of molasses. That's the only cure to a molasses wound. Molasses is a spoonful of molasses. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I feel better. Mm. Wow. Hey, actually, it's perfect now. Whoa. Yep. If you ever burn your tongue, teaspoon of molasses. Yeah. Heard it on the internet somewhere. So did you. Well, right we, now. We all just did. We all just did. Together. We heard it on the internet. We heard it together. That means it must be true for us. It is. It is. Yeah. It's your reality now. Speaking of reality, did you look into the Matrix theory with John Wick? No. To sum up some of the theories. Neo was trapped in the Matrix by the architect because Neo was that meddling kid. This was the sixth time he'd met the architect. And Neo says, I hope we don't meet again. And the architect goes, we won't. Because he traps him in the Matrix. In a, like a parallel Matrix to the Matrix. So he, the architect, makes Neo feel like he's got powers in the real world. Because he can stop the Sentinels in the real world which is still the Matrix, because he's still in the Matrix in the real world. So see what I'm saying? I'm with you. So he thinks he wakes up out of the Matrix into the real world, but he's still in the Matrix. Still in the Matrix. So those, so the architect pumps him full of these ideas that, yes, you're all super powerful in the real world, and you're this unstoppable force in the Matrix. You're the number one champion of the Matrix. So he keeps Neo fed on this power-hunger trip kind of thing. Hmm. And by doing so, it takes his focus off messing up the matrix that the architect keeps having to rewrite and everything. So, um, so Neo doesn't die. He's trapped in the matrix. And that's when they say he's still in there. He's trapped somewhere. It's we can't find him. He okay. never died. So he's trapped in there. And Trinity dies in the matrix, but then Neo saves her in the matrix, which saves her in the real world. Okay. And then she dies in the real world. But does she? Because... Are we in Neo's Matrix, or are we in the real world, the machine world? Ooh. That kind of weird stuff. So with Neo being trapped in this doubled Matrix after destroying the uh, Smith virus, he's now realized that he can do anything he wants whenever, however he wants. And then he can wake up and come out of the Matrix into the real world, which is still the Matrix. Yada, yada. So you can see the kind of weirdness there. Mm -hmm. So with the whole John Wick thing, he wouldn't need to be seeking power because he's not a depressed coder programmer anymore working a 9 to 5 job that he hates. He starts off as a level 20 assassin. He's already powerful. He makes the mob tremble, you know. So he wouldn't necessarily need to go searching for, for this greater purpose in life because he already is living his greater purpose he in is life. the greater purpose. So he's he's already focused on this coolness. He's like, I am epic. Whoa. He doesn't need to be like, I, I suck. There's got to be more to this. No, he already is doing the, there has got to be more to this. Whoa. So, <laughs> so he, he's doing that. And... Then they were saying with Morpheus being in the movie, it's not really Morpheus, because if it was Morpheus, then he would be like, you, John Wick, are the one. Neo. Kind of thing. They're saying that is uh, a replication of the old Morpheus, because they did capture Morpheus, and they started like scouring his mind, ripping all the data from it and everything. So they were able to like sort of copy that likeness of him into Neo's Matrix. With, or yeah, into John Wick's Matrix. Okay. Without him being like, you were Morpheus. And then Helen, his wife in John Wick, who died, was kind of like a double of Trinity. So the architect let him get a wife in John Wick. But then when he was like, okay, I don't want to kill anymore. I want to calm down. 
that was get that basically the 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 John Wick Matrix wife was going to distract him from that power hunger trip, which would then make him start looking at things differently. Yeah. The whole love thing because Neo always messes everything up with that darn meddling glove problem. <laughs> That's kind of Neo's or John Wick's uh, virus. So he kills the wife in John Wick to get him power hungry again to okay. get in this blood rage to go get revenge and just start killing again all being right. all powerful again so that kind of thing so they're trying to keep the architect is trying to keep him trapped in this alternate oh, yeah. uh, code so that way he's not meddling in the overall matrix architect oh my structure God. thing so that, that's that's one of the theories that's like the kind of like the theory there's Dude, more out there. I just equated that to so much. Simon, so, mean, you can definitely buy into this one pretty hard. It's pretty yeah. Cool. You've got John Wick 4 coming out. You've got the fourth Matrix they're talking about. But yeah, we'll just have to see how everything works out. And if you watch John Wick, Parabellum, the newest one, right? That's the newest one, Parabellum? Yeah. In the epic fight scene in the Continental, the room's green. It's green. You know, and that's obviously paying homage to the, the Matrix. Matrix. Yeah, Neo, fight scenes, guns, you know. And it's ridiculous because it's like, how is nobody ever getting shot? Nobody's ever dying. Well, code, Matrix, it's architect. Code. You know, he's got invincibility on. So John Wick is just still code. John Wick is still code. It's an alternate Matrix in the Matrix, that kind of thing. So, yes, Fox, we're live. Well, hello, Shia. Just going to break the fourth wall real quick. <laughs> hello, Fox. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Installation 7. I don't know. But yeah, so that's <laughs> that's this whole little kind of Matrix Theory thing. I like it. It's different. I like <clears throat> it. I totally like it. It's different. It's something to think on in the meantime while we wait for the uh, fourth Matrix. John Matrix. See, they might pull something absolutely crazy where it's like John Wick. You're like, oh. You know what would be hilarious is if the fourth John Wick combined both movies and we're like, gotcha. Yeah, that'd be wild. Gotcha. It's if like he, John Wick was Neo and he yep. went back and forth in the movie. He John Wick kills the architect in John Wick, right. which brings him back to the Matrix, which allows him to get up and out of it, which brings him back to the actual real world of Zion, yeah. which he then goes and finishes the fight and destroys the machines in the actual real world something like that that would be amazing wild just amazing you heard it here first today folks on old guy and the kid podcast the new matrix john wick theory stay tuned for more as we ramble on about things we don't actually know anything about but if it does happen we knew all about it all along all along you heard it here first today you know if that turns out to be true mm -hmm. that means when they after they do Matrix 4 and John Wick 4, there will be eight Matrix movies. And they snuck it right under the radar. Yep. Absolutely wild. Yeah. Mm hmm Incredible. Incredible. Be amazing. Super cool. I like it. It's the theory I'm going with. It's the theory I'm going to go with, too. I'm like, why not? Like, who, not? Cares? who cares? Who cares if we're wrong? That's I'm it's, down with it. It's fun to dream. Have a little fun. Yeah. Yeah. So th that's exciting. That's some cool stuff. You never know. I like it. Writers try to, you know, be brilliant. It could be like the turn of the century. Like, whoa, that moment in cinema history where everything was just brought full circle. Yeah. Super cool. That'd be really clever because there's no spoilers. There's nobody really trying to guess fan theories. Mm -hmm. And then boom, it just shows up. If it just happens. Yeah. 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 Surprise. That would be amazing. Whoa, there's eight of them. Gotcha. Yep. And then what they could do, like to really blow everyone's mind, John Wick 4 released on this day, and then The Matrix 4 the following day. Oh, my God. So then you have to, and then you, you watch that one, you wouldn't be able to get a seat in the theater for the fourth Matrix. Never. Never. If you set them up that way to where they were like, it was the sequel to that one, it'd be like, two, instead of waiting four years for another movie or whatever, oh, right. just they're back to back. It'd be like, Ugh! Like the, the end credits of John Wick 4, it Are tells the intro you. intro credits for the fourth. fourth <laughs> it tells you to go watch the fourth <laughs> Matrix and you're like. Poof. Yeah, you'd be like. Oh, 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 oh. I'd blown away. Blown away. Yep, so if that happens, 
We talked about it first. We, we talked about it first. <laughs> it's our idea. <laughs> it's our idea. We're going to claim credit for that. Yeah, so that's, that's cool stuff. It's cool stuff. Very cool stuff. I like it. As yeah. far as I'm concerned, I've watched six Matrix movies already. Yes. Yeah. And if nothing else, John Wick is definitely heavily inspired by Neo from The Matrix. Oh, absolutely. Just just because, like, Keanu Reeves embodies that sort of character, that, that action film star, that action Neo, you know, that thing. So he just takes that with him wherever he goes, and he does a great job. He's going to be in Cyberpunk. I mean... As basically one of the main characters, from what I'm hearing, he's yep. gonna be one of the one of the main ones because he's, and I guess he's part of a band. He's part of a band in Cyberpunk, and he asked the game developers if he could sing, and they said no, we have different singers oh. or something. He's like, oh well, I'd really like to sing. Whoa, whoa, you do. But I'd like to sing my own song, for my band. Yeah. So, anyways cool stuff. I'm, I'm just excited for 2020 is going to be super awesome. It's going to be great. As far as games and movies and everything and new tech, because I'm thinking next year they're going to be doing some like hardcore VR stuff. Because we're, we're now like, oh, 8K is the way, and we're now dropping 8K into consoles relatively yeah. easy, which means VR should be to a point where you can actually buy a living room VR setup yeah. where you can play VR games in your living room now without all these little things so so i'm hoping i'm hoping for the future of gaming this year well think about it the new iphone 11 simultaneously shoots 4k on three different lenses it's dirty at 60 fps that's dirty i bet the 11 has a zoomable microphone too huh there is a microphone on the front of it right underneath the camera so nice yeah yeah i most of these phones are copying all the technology from each other anyways so yeah um so I would not doubt it, but that's that's cool though. Yeah, the way our, our phones are up to like supercomputer strength, our consoles are going to be right up there. 4K TVs are now yeah. 250 bucks. You can get it, it's a four, when 4K first came out, it was like a four thousand, six thousand dollar TV. Yeah, and you're like, whoa, yeah, I gotta buy it. And now four, they're giving 4Ks away. Giving them away. It's hard to find regular generic LCD TVs. Plus, you're gonna have Xbox and Sony with their new yep. consoles next year. Yep. Uh, Xbox is, from what I've out. heard, they're releasing, basically it's launching with Halo, Halo 6, yeah. um, on the new console. It's like their flagship title, which means it's brilliant because ever I'm buying the console. Like, I have the Xbox One X, I'm going to buy the new console. It's got <laughs> Halo 6 coming in. You have to. You, you have, have to. to. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Gotta do it for Chief. <laughs> Chief. Uh, yeah, so they're they're releasing that. I guess December 2020, okay. from what I've heard rumored. So okay. I don't know. we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm excited. Yeah. I'm am not excited for my bank, but okay. I'm excited. Well, save up. You got a year. Yep. 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 That's how I feel. Each step towards next year. Yeah. Gotta wait a whole year. It's alright, it'll be here before we know it because it's already September September eleventh already? Yep. Ooh. September eleventh. It's the day. It's the day. Yeah, it's already <coughs> September eleventh, man. We're almost halfway through September. Mm-hmm. Nine eleven. Never forget. It's pretty much fall time. Mm-hmm. I mean the highs now are eighty eight during the day. Mm-hmm. My side of town, anyway. Yeah, the high's been eighty-eight at best, and like sixty-six at night. So it's already starting to transition. Right on that turn, we're about to go into that next little yeah. seasonal switch. So, which you know what? It's, it's been so hot here lately, and for some reason at work, people literally are shutting the AC off, which isn't an AC; it's an old generic swamp cooler. Yeah, which doesn't cool anything; it just helps circulate air. I walked into work yesterday, no air conditioner in the tour. No fans, nothing. I about died. Turn on the air. <laughs> Turn on my, the moist air. My buttons were here, and they went... <laughs> oh, because it was so hot, I was dying. Or because Silver was in my mind. And that's why I was popping the buttons. Hey, Silver, welcome to chat. Aww. He's here in spirit again. Love Aww. it. Is that a fish emote? It's a fish emote. It's a fish emote. A little fishy. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. 
Yes, Fox, 18 years. 18 years. It's been 18 years. That's wild. 2001. Space Odyssey? Correct. That's nuts. The movie's only 18 years old. That's insane. That's crazy. Pretty crazy. I remember the day it happened. 9-11? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember walking into work and seeing it. Thought I was watching a movie. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I was in elementary school and wasn't really sure what was going on. We had those little generic TVs hung up in the corner, and we all got called to the gym, and all of our parents came and picked us up. Yeah. And that was about all I remember. It was just a lot of, like, this dread in the air of unsurety and, and just fear, and yeah. just confusion. So, yeah, I, I, I could feel all that. I could feel all that, but I didn't know what was going on. Too young. Too young. I walked into work, and it was on TV, and I was like, how... Wait, what movie is that? And they were like, that's not a movie. That's the news. Wait, what? Is this like a simulation? I, I don't get it. Yeah. My brain was just not wanting to process what was happening. Mm -hmm. And then when it fell, I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. And then when the second one got hit, like it all became very real. That's nuts. Yeah. That's nuts. Just sitting there watching it. There's nothing you can do. scary stuff. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely horrible. Yeah. I don't think I don't think anybody turned off the news for three months. I bet not. No. I hope everybody just, it was such elevation of just like, like uh, nope, we're keeping the news on, we're watching. It yeah. Everybody had a news one of the yep. news stations Radios on. Radios were on. 24-7. So, yeah. Just listening. Damn. Yep, a lot changed after that. Now they got that cool uh, infinity pool there where the buildings used to be. I haven't seen it. Yeah, look for Google pictures of it. It's got this like cool like they made a pool where each each of the towers used to be, and it's like this water goes down in it. And I think it's oh wow. I think they tell you not to drop pennies in it. I think. Yeah, people are stupid pennies. Oh, yeah. there's a little body of water. Let's throw pennies. <laughs> Just stop throwing change around people yeah but it, I think it, it lights up and they got lights and it lights up at night and shows lights up oh wow okay. yeah it's pretty cool yeah I hadn't heard of that but that's insane though 18 18 years it's been 18 years <sighs> that's crazy time is fluid very fluid time dilation time dilation yeah yeah <laughs> yep yeah, because I, I mean, this has happened to me for the for the days. It's like, like, hey, you know the money you gave me? I went home last night. I can't find it. And they're like, I gave that to you two days ago. I'm like, no, you gave that to me last night. Yeah. I can't. I couldn't find it this morning. Yep. Like, no, that was two days ago. I'm like, that's impossible. Impossible. Time yep. violation. Yep. Open the curtains, bricks. <gasps> they cut the wire. They cut. <laughs> Yeah. Happens when they change something. Yeah, that's... Einstein was absolutely right. Time dilation, dude. Time dilation, yep. Yeah. Just grows and shrinks and grows and shrinks and... Yeah. It's scary stuff. It's getting faster for me. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Faster and faster. We're going to have to slow it down. Yeah, weeks are just, like, going by like this now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's why this whole uh, D and D thing that we've been doing is it's helping slow some things down for me. Because if you just stay in a monotonous mundane and you keep doing the same thing over and over, you lose time. Yeah. But when you throw in new events and things, it, it mixes it up, and you can you have like little anchor points to jump to and from. You're like, oh yeah, last week on Saturday. <laughs> Whereas most times, like, what'd you eat two days ago for breakfast? Two days ago breakfast. Two days ago breakfast. Um, 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 eggs? No, it wasn't eggs. It was uh, you can't remember. But if it's like, oh, you went out to this restaurant, or you did this, or you did that, then you get these little points you can jump to, and you don't feel like you've lost as much time. Anchor points. Yes. Anchor points to jump around the matrix in. So you don't lose your way. Mm-hmm. They're like breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are anchor points. Mm -hmm. 
things that you do in your reality are breadcrumbs. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> we are in the matrix. My own head just exploded. Yep. Create your own breadcrumbs. Napoleon Hill. <laughs> Does he talk about that? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. I was going to say, well, that'd be kind of cool. Huh? That'd be trippy. Trippy, trippy. Wait, trippy. what's going on here? Hey, who's writing my story? Who's reading my book? I am, see? We are. You the are. I are. People are reading it as I'm writing it as you're doing it. Wait, what? But Whoa. in their reality, it's a finished book. Whoa. <laughs> time dilation, son. Yep, time dilation. Yeah. Yeah, trippy stuff. That'd be crazy. Would be a little crazy. Whoa. So, chapter three this Saturday? Chapter three. D and D. Yep. The session. The session. We got a cave to walk into, son. Indeed, you do. Mm hmm. But what's in this cave? What's in the cave? What's in the cave? What's in the cave? <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> what's in the cave? What's in the cave? Well, go in there and find out. <laughs> Neck first, mind you. Okay, we're doing it right. Ching. Uh, you're dead. Head rolls in there. Dink. Yeah, never go anywhere neck first. No. No. Bleed with your head, son. What? It's the Naruto spirit. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it right, Dad. <laughs> well, got a little farther than I thought. <laughs> the Naruto run. <laughs> the Naruto run. It's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. Stupid storming 51. Notice how that kind of died off. When was that supposed to be? Was it this month or next month? Or was it August? I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember. You know, it might have been September. Is it September? Was it September 23rd or 13th? I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of quit paying attention to it. Yeah, they were like, oh, we're going to make a music festival out of it. Uh, like, that's some stupid stuff. Yeah, yeah um, because the government is going to allow you to hold a music fest outside of Area 51. Okay, apparently it's September 20th. September 20th. Yeah, they have a bunch of drunk high idiots stumbling into the base property. Ooh, look, I see them! <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> really dumb. Their whole model, they can't stop us all. One can't stop all of you, but all of them can stop all of you. So And they will, too. And they will. And then here's the thing. Okay, great. You made it through the gates. Okay, cool. You stole a Hummer. Oh, great. Good for you. You found a, a human weapon. Ooh. You get inside the doors. Before you are security doors, which you need multiple sets of security credentials to get through. Retina scans, fingerprint scans proper badge scans that all have to link up simultaneously. The walls are like, oh, mm, I don't know, two feet thick of, of steel and other miscellaneous metals. And yeah. And then behind those doors, you've got more doors. Like, really, how far do you think you're going to really get? Yeah. Like, you're going to get into the lobby and be like, hi, would you like to take the Area 51 tour? Yeah. Well, there's a tour? Yeah, you didn't have to get shot up over it. Yeah. Oh. You made it in. Here's a tour. No. Here, here's your brochure. Yeah, it's it's you're going to make it to the lobby, you're going to get a free cup of coffee, and then you're going to prison. <laughs> yeah, it's like the secret point that you think you're looking for is still miles away from any gate. Yeah. Six miles underground in some secured steel vault. You're never going to make it. Uh-uh. <clears throat> nope. They're going to kidnap you and make you disappear for the rest of your life. And then they're going to go to your parents' And convince your parents that they never even had you. Wait, we don't have a, we don't, we don't have a kid. Let's go on vacation. <laughs> and then your parents are going to live their best life because you're not. Because <laughs> you're dumb. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. Wait, so if I go to Area Fifty One, then my mom and dad will have a funner time without me. Precisely. Yeah. Oh, forget that. forget that. My mom and dad are paying my bills. They gotta renew my World of Warcraft subscription. <laughs> they just released vanilla. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's that's what the news needs to say. If you stole Mario Fifty One, your parents will not renew your World of Warcraft subscription. And they're like, No, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I won't storm. I won't, I'm not doing it. I won't storm. No, definitely not. All your college loans will be cut off and doubled. 
and double. Three hundred percent interest. Ooh. What? Ooh. Ooh. That's worse than death. <laughs> your grandkids will still be paying your college loans. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, considering that's one of the only unforgivable debts there is. Which one? College loans. Serious. Federally unforgivable. You cannot for you cannot go into forbearance. You cannot get rid of it. You have to pay it. Even if you're 90 and still paying it, you have to pay it. It is unforgivable. Joke's on you, college. I'm not getting a loan. Goodbye. The, the, the only time I've seen it is school teachers can go into forbearance hmm. and get it um, either reduced Gosh. or wiped clean if they're below a certain amount they've already paid and, and they're still teaching. I That's know someone who did that. They got it in forbearance, but other than that, you can't. That's insane. You have to pay it. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of strange, right? Very strange. Like, you can get a massive loan for a business mm -hmm. and claim bankruptcy and go under. Yep, and oh, you're fine. You're fine, yeah. So many other things, but a school loan, you can't. Hmm. Weird, right? Very weird. Yeah. It's because knowledge is power, and the more knowledge you have, the easier it is to topple the Matrix. Yeah. So they're going to make you pay for this information that you think you have, which was written by the Matrix. By the so Matrix. you really don't know anything that's going to help you topple anything. No. Therefore, you've wasted your money. Yeah, wake up from the Matrix. The blue pill. The blue pill, but really it's just Matrix encoding. They, you learn what they want you to learn. Exactly. Well, I'm so smart. No, you're not. Oh, not at all. No, I know all the college all the college people I know are complete idiots. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, I know so much. I know everything. Really? Because you... Uh-uh. No. Have you heard yourself? Because I've heard you, and I don't think you're smart. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. <clears throat> Weird. It I depends think, on what you go to college for. Uh, yeah, I think... Like the most intelligent people, if you like, we were just talking about before the podcast, would be like Andrew Carnegie, Dale Carnegie, Napoleon Hill. Um, God, who's the other guy that I was asking you if you were reading? Dale Carnegie, but you just no. Oh no, you. S oh, I I know what you mean. The yeah. other one you asked. The other one. Ah, uh, shoot, it was a strange name. I can't remember. Yeah. No, like the guys like that that mm -hmm. made it through the depression and around that, that turn of the century time frame. Those guys are geniuses. Yep. Those guys could come up with money by doing anything. Yeah. Like the invented ways to make their own money. Yep. Make they their own jobs. Necessity and, and experience and situations. <sighs> That's intelligence. Yeah. Yeah, you can read a book and not be a drop smarter. You yeah. just can't. You know, it's like it's like for me, the smartest guy I know is my dad. And that's typically how it is for us. It's like the smartest people we know are our parents. Like, Yeah. So Tribal knowledge. Yeah, because then you go to college and it's like, <laughs> it gets whack. It gets you hear whack. some whack stuff. Yep. Because yeah. there's just too many agendas mixed. Yeah. And it's not for the greater good. No. Nope. It's the dumb and down of America. Yeah. Plus, the college campuses these days are all about who can have the bigger butthurt agenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we kind of got away from the whole, like, yeah, education, education and intelligence, and yeah. now it's... Uh, uh, totally different. Yeah. It's just weird. You, you show up and see who offends you first. Yeah. Call them out on it. It's, I'm, I'm just here to analyze the film, cinema, and you know, original turn of the age movies. Why? What are we talking? What is going on right now? Just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you it's you weird. there? You said something. You offended me. Protest time. No, I, I'm just trying to figure out like what it's. We, what are we? What are we doing? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're mad. We're all angry, see? <laughs> all no, angry. I'm here for credit. Like, I'm trying to learn stuff about old movies. Yeah. No? Okay. No. Well, I'm going to leave. Uh, you can't just walk away from your problems. Uh, actually, I can. <laughs> I'm going to walk away now. <laughs> this isn't my problem. It's yours. <laughs> I'm, I'm really confused and I'm hungry, so I'm going to go eat. <laughs> all right. Don't come back tomorrow. Okay, I won't come back tomorrow. Okay. Come back. All right. I don't know where I'm at anymore. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Just weird, yeah, weird times. Yeah. We should become college instructors. We just do it. We're overqualified. Overqualified. So we should, we should do it. 
We can't hire you. You're overqualified. You're overqualified. What? My neighbor's dog is in my yard and has one of its legs caught in the collar. I tried to help, but I don't want to get bit by it. I wish it would go home. Um. Weird. I'm trying to think of what you could do to to rectify that. Get his hind leg like up under. Probably like scratching, and then went shroom, and then like. Can't can't get it out. Front leg or back leg, Fox? The front front leg. leg? Yeah. It's a tiny dog. Oh, that poor dog. That sucks. How tiny? Like Chihuahua tiny, or, or like. Uh, undone, and it doesn't want to crawl through. Th- oh shoot! Uh, I that don't even. Dog. I don't even know what you do in a situation like that. Because yeah, when a dog's panicked and it's not your dog, it likes to bite. Yeah. I have the water on as well. So it's been, oh no! Super weird. I, Fox, you're in a pickle. You're in a predicament. Uh, that dog is in a pickle too. Odd. Yeah, I, I have. I'm empty, I'm clueless. I have no ideas as to what you could do. Best of luck, Fox. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. That poor dog. Before it just stop barking while I was trying to help. So Aww. it's like Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a dumb and dumber situation. She's yeah. like trying to help the dog, and then the owner's like, "Quit barking, you idiot dog!" And the dog's like, "No, I'm stuck." And then, wow, it's like, "You want to come get your dog, maybe?" Yeah. Well, goodness. Well, you're in a pickle, fox. If you yell the dog's name, it'll pull its own leg out of its collar. <laughs> oh, I'm fixed now. Just, just say my name. I'll, I'll take my leg out. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's stupid. Yeah, people are stupid. Some people just shouldn't own animals. No. They don't care for them. They don't take care of them. They don't understand. They just think they're like an accessory. They're, they're cute for the first week, and then after that, it's like, clean up your own poop. Mm. That's not how this works. Yeah. They're, they're on the same level of children. You have to take care of them. They're your responsibility. Animal control. Yeah, for sure. Yep, if it's still in your yard after a while, just call animal control. Yep. Beef. That's nuts. See, stupid people. The dumbing of America. Dumbing of America. Unfortunately, we are, are uh, experiencing the results now. Every day. Hey, have you seen that? Uh, there's a picture on the internet, and there's a person's yard, and it's flooded. Like flood waters up to here. Mm-hmm. There's a fence in the yard, but it's like just like a wrought iron fence, and the person has a bucket full of water. And they're dumping it out yeah. on the other side of the fence. I have seen that. Bro. That sums up the human hole. Yeah. It's the <laughs> <laughs> what Get out of my yard. What are you doing? And then if someone walked up and said, hey, would you mind if I help you? The person would be like, no, this is my water. This wa- In my fence, this is my water. It's my water. Like, really? Because there's holes in your fence and um, we're waist deep in water both of us flowing it's the same water I didn't mean want me to help you bucket out water from your I meant do you want me to get (sighs) you help to get you out of the water get in the boat yeah that's not my boat this is my water okay well we're gonna boat on now yeah good luck (laughs) okay you sure okay we've got a helicopter we can get you no You're you're gonna steal my TV no, your, your TV's soaked. Oh, your TV's done. We're here to get you out of here. You know what? Yeah. You can just stay. You, you're you right. Someone needs to watch your house. Yeah. We're not going to do it for you. No. Goodbye. Your, your, uh, yeah. your furniture's done. Your TV's done. Your electronics are done. Well, sorry. We can't help you. Bye. All Thanks, your, bye. All your electrical outlets are filled with water right now. <laughs> you're <laughs> yeah, you're, to- you're toast. You're toast. Toast. Yeah. Yikes. Weird stuff. But good for you, though. But good for you. But yeah, that bucket meme. <laughs> that just sums it all up. <laughs> sums it up. Bucket meme. <laughs> buckets. Oh, buckets. Uh. Weird. Weird. Big buckets. Breakfast for us. I got a chicken sandwich that took only four minutes to get. 
Four. Not 44 like last time, but four minutes. Four. Four. One more than three. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you have? Fox had barbecue chips. That's I a hearty breakfast. <laughs> did not have anything like that. Would you like some? I had um ham cubes. Some espresso. <laughs> they look like little ham cubes. They do look like ham cubes. No, I had some espresso. Here's some ASMR. Speaking of ASMR, someone accidentally showed off their genitals on stream. Is it was it her? It was her. She accidentally yeah, I think what her response was is she forgot she wasn't wearing underwear. <laughs> so I don't know, but what does that have to do with anything? How do you accidentally get in front of camera? Oh, I'm not wearing an underwear. I don't know. Oh, Fox doesn't think she said anything. I don't know. It's the internet, so oh you know you hear God. random things. But regardless, non anti disser regardless. Yeah. She uh, she made a slip. Oops, and now she's gone. Did they cancel her account? Banned. 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 I say, she just keeps getting more and more worthless. Yeah, I don't know. Just... I, I just hope that with this, it's not like, you're just temporarily banned, and then you get to come back. Because, like, that's just... it's This just should have never happened. There shouldn't have been no. an opportunity for that to happen. No. So... You didn't forget that you did not have pants on. Yeah. It was, oops. Yeah. Like, that's just, like, trying hard. For some weird reason, you're trying extra hard. Yeah, you need to be streaming games or talk shows or art, something or or something like IRL throughout the day, going around the town. But yep, I don't know. So hopefully, this is just a wake up call for some people to get their act together. But um, yeah, she probably thought she could get away with it. I'm sure she's that type. Yeah, but that's why we're over here on Mixer because they don't allow that kind of stuff to happen. Yeah. So there, that's I, I like the oh. the community guidelines it's definitely a safer more comfortable place yeah Ding. so yeah so yeah mixer.com forward slash old guy and the kid we're a podcast we do things live join us unless you're listening on a podcast outlet then it's right. recorded live from yesterday correct indeed.com indeed. i n d w e d Indeed.com. Indeed.com. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot I wasn't wearing clothes at all, and I got on camera. Yeah. Oops. Oopsie. Oops, oops, oops. Yep, nope, that'll never happen to me. No. Coming from the guy who used to wear underwear, gym shorts, and pants every single day. It got way too hot, though, and I got <laughs> older, and I st stopped wearing gym shorts. And couldn't you know, do it anymore. I just couldn't do it anymore. No. It's, it's just weird stuff about me that... Some people may have not ever known. Yep. Now they know. Everybody's going to know now. Yep. Everyone in school now. Everyone in school at the time knew. They did yeah. a presentation. And I, I can't really remember what it was about, but I, I had to have, like, a really good, like, shock factor. And I feel like I've said this at one point before, probably, like, 60 episodes ago. But I think you did. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, and during the presentation, I was like... But wait! I did my belt, dropped my pants, and everyone's like, "Ah!" And I'm like, "I see all of you looking." Yep. But I'm wearing gym shorts, so jokes on you. And I'm gonna continue the presentation, and I did, and they're like, "Whoa!" Yeah. Yeah. I took measures to a whole new level. You did. Took things into my own hands. Pretend like I'm not looking, but I'm looking. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I gotta pretend like I'm so offended, but I'm staring at you. Superhero masks right now. You're all curious. Yeah. And now you're all focused and paying attention to my presentation. I shall continue. Yeah. It was good times. It was good times. I always got stellar grades on my presentations. Went above and beyond. I was like, can I go first? And I'm like, oh, it's him again. No, Let's get him out of the way. I was like, yep, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trump all of your presentations. I will take the gold. I will take first place in presentation class. And you did, didn't you? I did. I did. I did a presentation on Chef Ramsay, and I went dressed as a... Uh, steak waiter at a prestigious restaurant. Nice. Dressed to the nine. So it's like, now for my presentation. I'm like, ah, I see none of you dressed up. Ding! Ten Ding. bonus points. Yeah. Yeah, just, nah, I knocked it out of the park. I knocked it out of the park. I had fun with presentations. It's like, I just took matters into my own hands. You did. Had fun. 
I like how people act like they don't want to look, but secretly they do, so they look. Yeah. It's, it's just natural. <laughs> human beings. <laughs> human beings. Oh, I don't want to, but hey, what's going on over there? <laughs> I would have looked at him like, is he really going to? He re- Oh, okay, I see, I see. Uh, I see what you did there. Yep. Clever. I mean, we were all like five, so. <laughs> no, we weren't five. <laughs> we acted like we were five. It was high school. Yeah. It was high school. I can't remember what year, but. Not anti this year, regardless. We were all stupid and just wanted out of there, so. It just went out of here so bad. We're out of the Matrix. That's exactly what that felt like. Everybody knew they were in the Matrix. They're like, I just want to get unplugged. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, I know the steak isn't real. And then when I put it in my mouth, it doesn't really taste like anything. But we still want to get to that steak at that fake restaurant. Yeah. Yep. Fake steak, fake restaurant. Fake sirloin. Fake, oh, yeah, fake sirloin. Fake sirloin, yep. Yeah, I prefer Fake burgers. Sirloin. I prefer burgers over steak. I'd rather have a four dollar hamburger cheeseburger than I would a forty dollar steak. I don't like steak. I'm weird. I'm. Why super don't you like steak? St- it's just. It's just it's stupid. It's like a big old slab of meat, and you're just like it's. It, you're wasting flavor. You slap that bad boy, grind it up, <laughs> put it in some. Buns with avocado and tomato and lettuce and all this other goods. Mayonnaise, salt, pepper, yeah, mm, onions. What else can I throw in there? Let's get some bell peppers on there. Sure, why not? Let's go f- go crazy. Go for gold. Go for gold. Yeah. It's just so much better. There's so much more flavor. Mm. Steak is like you get what you're looking at. Like it's just that. Yeah. You cut off the piece, eat it. Mm. Cut off the piece, eat it. Mm. Cut off the piece. It's the same thing over and over and over. <laughs> It's the same thing. Yeah. Get a ground up beef burger. And you're just like, there's a lot of stuff in that thing. But there's so much more you can add to it. Oh, yeah. Dressing, sauces, ranch, sweet potato fries. Put those in there with it. It's so good. Yeah, you can you can season a, a burger patty really well before you even put anything else. Fox says you can put butter, salt, spices, and then have a potato and other goodies with it. Oh, absolutely. Nope. She's on the steak bandwagon. Nope. No steak for me. But see, I'm cheap. Yeah. It's like, would you like the $55 steak, sir? It's a quarter of an ounce. How much is that? Squeak, squeak. Here you go. I'll just take the $8 burger, and then I'll be full. Yeah. I'll be stuffed to the max. That's me, though. Sounds like you have some prejudices against steaks, though. I do. I just don't like... I, I don't buy into it. Everyone's like, oh, it's this prestigious steak restaurant. It's $30. <laughs> I'm like, $30? Come on! A burger? It's... It's this... Oh. Oh, <laughs> when have you gone somewhere where it was fifty five dollars? Are you saying that's cheap, Fox? Is that our is that moderators cheap? calling you out? Yeah, I just <laughs> I'm anti steak all day long. Non anti dissery steak. <laughs> non anti dissery steak. <laughs> Heck yeah. <coughs> yep. I'm all about the burgers. You also have to pay more for cheese and other stuff for burgers. Yeah, but it's only seventy five cents more or a dollar more for cheese. <laughs> I mean, you could deck out a burger. You go to any restaurant and just build that bad boy up. Max you're going to pay is like $16. Yeah. You go to a, get a steak, and because it has the word steak in it, it's automatically starting point $22. <laughs> 22 $22. Minimum. And that's for a charred piece of trash steak. <laughs> charred piece of trash. <laughs> it's, I, I don't know. It's just <laughs> I'm weird. There's not enough fat in the meat on a steak for me. It sounds like you have a vision of something that doesn't exist that you're hating on. Steak exists. I don't like steak. No, the steak exists, but the ideology that you're Uh, relating it to is not real. What do you mean? I think people buy into a steak way too much. There's not enough there. There's... You're hating a false reality. I just don't like steak. I think you do. If a steak was five dollars, I still wouldn't like it. I ju- it's just I don't care for the the format. The format's all <laughs> wrong. Dude, there's so much fat on a steak. You cut it, and you eat it, and you're like, oh, it dissolves in your mouth. I'm like, but it's just this. I don't know. I'm not a steak guy. I'm not a steak guy. One's just ground up, and one's still not ground up. Exactly. The ground up one. You, it's it's you way more room for creativity. Correct. 
I don't like the format of a solid, thick chunk slab of meat. <laughs> I don't mind if it's raw, and bloody, and mooing. Like I will eat that Burr. burger or steak. But w- if I have to choose between a steak and a burger, I will pick a burger. Ninety-nine times out of ten. Burgers are some of the greatest things on the planet. I think burgers and sandwiches in general are yeah. really good. I just can't do a steak. Steak, I guess, is too bougie for me. That's too bougie. Yeah. You're hating an ideology, not so much the steak. Yeah, th- I don't care for the for the flavor of steaks. Mm. Like it just, I don't know. I this the fat's like on one side, and whereas the fat in a burger is just it's all ground up. It's like an equal ratio. <laughs> It's hard to explain. The equal ratio fat burger. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I don't know. The equal ratio fat. It, that's what we're going to call it, the equal ratio fat burger. <laughs> equal ratio fat burger. Mm-hmm. Fox says you can get a marbled steak, which I guess is an equal ratio fat steak. Yeah, it's an equal ratio fat steak. You can get a very well marbled steak. I just shouldn't have to pay $55 for it. And they're like, this cow was hand-fed grass <laughs> from the plains of, of Japan. Where do you go for your steaks? <laughs> <laughs> well, for these kinds of steaks. What kind of... Yeah, where are you going for $55 steaks? For all my people out there that eat $55 steaks, you know where I'm going. For all the people that don't know where I'm going, you don't know where I'm going. But... <laughs> I mean, if you could eat McDonald's, why in the world would you ever want a $55 steak? McDonald's, I wouldn't eat. I don't think. Yeah, that's 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 not qualified as a burger. Like, that doesn't count as. Like, I'm talking like you go to the store, you buy some ground up beef, like 85-15 kind of thing, 80-20. 80-20 is a mess, let me tell you. But 90-10, that's some good stuff still. It's still very lean. But the fat is equally ground up amongst the 90. They snuck the 10 in the 90. You ever do 70-30? Oh, that'd be a nightmare to clean up. You go, <laughs> just be grease everywhere. Like, ah! That'd be terrible. I have to keep that lid over it. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer grilled. Just a grilled burger. Grilled burger. Grilled okay. burger is, is just ah, so good. Grilled burgers are the best. The Did bomb. you grill burgers at all this summer? Indeed. I just had two grilled patties yesterday. Please don't tell me that was two days ago. No, that was yesterday. I'm s- I'm I'm living by it. It was two days ago. It was one day ago. Stop it. <laughs> it was one day ago. Stop it. <laughs> no, yesterday I had two grilled patties. Uh, on a sesame seed bun, lettuce, onions, tomatoes, pickle sauce, onion, double burger, or however the McDonald's Big Mac slogan goes. No. That you grilled? Yes. Okay. Home grilled. Home grilled. Yes. Home grilled. Outside? Outside. Wow. In the flipping 99 degree temperature, I'm like, it's too hot to be grilling. <gasps> Ooh, burgers. <laughs> Slop some Colby Jack cheese on that bad boy. Oh, Colby Jack is so good. And then and slap that on a patty with some avocado and mayo spread on there and some tomato and salt, lettuce and grilled onions and butter. Don't tell me you're putting all that on a steak. Oh, wait, you can't. Why? Format's all wrong. <laughs> you can't put a steak in between. You can't just go slab a steak and then buns. Like, who's going to eat a a big old steak sandwich. You can cut steak into strips and make a steak sandwich. Uh huh. But you can't just steak that bad boy off your plate into buns. I don't like the format. Yeah. I can't do it. If all I have to eat is a steak, I will eat the steak. But the format, I'm just, I'm all about that guaranteed satisfaction from burgers. And I right. get guaranteed satisfaction every time I eat a burger. <laughs> every time I hear people eat steaks, they're like, mmm, too cooked, mmm, not cooked enough. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's over. It's chart. I'm like, you don't have that problem with a burger. You're like, I don't have that problem. Eh, it's a burger. <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, it's great. It's great. <clears throat> All right, that's that's a weird rant. <coughs> burgers and steaks. Burgers and steaks. Go ahead and vote now. Um, wherever we have the vote up, uh, go to burgersorsteaks.com and vote. Is that a thing? Burgersandsteaks.com? I, I gotta check. I it's gotta like, check. while well, you do that. Burgers or steaks? Near me. No. Um, poll? Let's see. I'm gonna check. We're gonna check everybody. Poll, burger or steak? This was back in 2009. Hmm. I don't think it's a thing. Yeah, we were having a little bit of uh, connection issues today. 
I don't know if it's that whole DDoSing thing and whatnot going on, but we've had a little bit of connection problem today. So at one point our stream stopped and we just had to wait for it to reconnect, pick up where we left off. So yeah, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm sure there's a poll out there for someone. If you want to go vote, you can figure out a place to go vote. The old guy has left me. Now it's just the kid podcast. 2009, way too long. No, no. Are you sure Mixer doesn't have the low latency on mobile? I thought they kind of did. I don't know. I mean, there there is a bit of a delay, but are you talking like 5, 10, 15 seconds? What are you, what are you thinking? I know PC, it's sub-zero latency. It's fantastic. So why are you on mobile? Why is Fox on mobile? Go PC, go PC. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back a lot. No, no, it's Mixer. They don't have the low latency on mobile. I was trying to find a poll. You could go vote steaks or burgers, but yeah, uh, it's too long ago, so. Oh, well. Uh, uh. Oh, well, doesn't matter. And then she was saying that the uh, there was a big delay on mobile. Which I didn't think there was that big of one, but there is still one. But that's because your phone's got a lot more bounce and unpinging they gotta do and such. So yeah. bounce ping. like our our phones are always off a little bit from yeah. each other. They'll always be a couple seconds off from the multiple seconds from the stream, so but it's fine. It's totally cool. As long as you can hear us, it's all we care about. Yeah. Excellent day. Eh? We're approaching the hour and a half mark. Are we? Mm-hmm. We time dilated to an hour 22. Oh. Fantastic. And then after that, I'm going to have to go up and look for a hot wire tool. I'm going to see if they've got one at the craft yes. stores here. Totally, dude. Get one. Because I don't want to waste... I'd rather waste time building stuff than I would cutting... Oh, man. I spent so much time cutting those little tiny ham cubes. They look like little cube ham. And <laughs> I'm all excited. I'm like, whoa, I made enough to make 25 wall segments. And then I watched this video of this guy... You, Oh, he put me to shame. He's, he's just... T -t 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 -t. I'm like, in five minutes, he made enough to make 25 wall segments. I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> going to steal a car. What, Fox thinks I'm going to steal a car. Steal a car? Why would I steal a car? Why would you do that? Why would I steal a car when I already have one that's stolen? <laughs> I don't need to steal two cars. <laughs> oh, hot wire car. No. A hot wire tool. It's, a, it's like a table saw. But instead of a saw blade, it's literally just a, a piece of wire, like a, and it heats up. And then when you run the foam across it, it melts the foam, it melt cuts it, and then gives you a nice clean cut. It's cool. It's cool, cool. Clean cut D and D village. Clean cut D and D village. Oh, and I found these other things from Green Stuff World. <laughs> green Stuff is a like a crafting company, and they have blue and green stuff that you can mold and sculpt things at a at a putty, and then it hardens up it's an epoxy yeah so they have these rolling pins that are textured to look like brick brick or wood or like you know roman things or egyptian hieroglyphics whatever so it's on the cylinder this rolling pin and you roll it across putty or foam or whatever and it lays that design into your medium and then you can paint it and it looks it saves you hundreds of hours worth of time because instead of you drawing little squares to make like a brick wall on your foam yeah. you run the cylinder across it and then paint it and it's done and it's done. all the work's done for you super cool, super handy so that's going to save hundreds of hours and the $14 a cylinder, very cool Wow. But use it over and over and over and over and over it's fantastic, so I'm really excited because my problem like I can visualize all these maps and things going on, but I would really like to bring them to life a little bit more, because it's so much more exciting when you're like, oh, we're going to have a tavern fight? Cool. You have a tavern? And you're like, I do. And you bring out this big tavern, you put everybody's minis in it, and then, boom, it's just it's an extra level. It's super cool. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, I, I think D&D &D tabletop is so much funner than any video game I've ever played. Yeah. Because the players are the story. You guys are the story. You tell the tale. And... It's just, it's an amazing time. And you never know what's going to happen. You it's know. not like, oh, you died at this boss. It's like, wow, you one-shotted that boss. You can't do that in games. Yeah. You have to hit him three times. Or you have to do three sequences of 5,000 damage. Yeah. So, whatever. But it's just so much funner. Everybody's so creative. Everybody does things that you never saw coming. And you're like, 
how did you think of that? <laughs> you know, but that's that's the best part. That's it what is. I, I love yeah. D&D. So. How clean cut is your D&D village? Vote today. <laughs> Send us your pictures on Instagram. All the at pictures. Old guy and the kid. Or Twitter at Guy and Kid. Do it now. <laughs> do it. No, do it. Do today. it today. <laughs> no, we're serious. Do it right now. How clean cut is your village? <laughs> yeah. There's this guy on YouTube. His channel is Black Magic Craft. That dude is on a whole other level. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to show you how to paint some brick walls to where they look better than just your one tone black or gray wall. I'm like, okay, okay. So he's like, do this and do this and do this. And I'm like, watching. <laughs> It's beautiful. It was amazing. And it's this little tiny brick wall. And it looks so real. It's surreal. Sir real? It's surreal. It's it's surreal. It's amazing. I'm blown away. <laughs> Absolutely blown. The guy's a master yeah. of foam. He has all these little buildings and it just oh my goodness, you'll have to see it. I'm fanboying right now. Are you going to use his techniques? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got all kinds of, like, tips and tricks videos. Yeah. He's also already saved me 300,000 hours. <laughs> so cool. Talks about different glues, which glues glue foam better and whatnot. Super 77, he did some glue tests. Yeah. And then he let it dry for 24 hours. And then he ran it through a hot wire to see how it would cut. And majority of the glues, when he cut them, they came apart. And they were still wet in the middle. So, oh. nope, fail, fail, fail. Super 77, tsk, puts it together and he goes this is already perma bonded and then he cuts it nope that's perma bonded he's like if you need to glue foam together to make a large structure and then cut it super 77 is gonna be I'm like super saiyan 77 it's amazing it's amazing so all these little things that like just saves you money and time because you don't have to waste your time going through all that you just you follow it you follow the the way of the master and the then way of the master you just won't have any problems. It's amazing. So and then you're good. So I'm excited. So I, I'm I'm excited to build you guys cool things and then paint them and then just give give interesting terrain like this cave. Yeah, I would have loved to have had a sort of cave set up for you guys to navigate. Um, because a lot of the times you're like, okay, I'm in a deep dark cave. What can I do? There's a lot of stuff you can do, but then you kind of think, well, if I'm in a dark room of nothingness, then I can't do anything. So if you throw out some extra little things, it can be like you get little ideas from the miniatures and and the terrain and such. So so going forward, it'll be cool. Because I'll be able to crank out some mad foam. And then you make it all modular so you can swap things in and out. Mm. And then it's really easy to make a whole vast array. I've got a lot of D&D tiles. So that it's a piece of cardboard, just a little thin cardboard. But it's got design on it. It's all grid grid mapped. Yeah, and uh, so it'll be like a little building, and there's grid pattern over it, so that way everybody can see the f- five feet squares, and like that's cool and everything. But you can't move that now most of the time. Like, and then I've got other tiles that you can mix and match, but then it's a pain in the butt. So you're trying to mix and match all those, and I've even got to the point where I taped them down onto cardboard, so I'd have like maps that I can move around. But it's just, uh, just, uh, uh. <laughs> And it's 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 one D, you know what I mean? It's it's uh, it's not three dimensional. So yeah. the whole three dimensional, D, you're like, oh oh, what's around the corner? And you're like, oh no no, from where you're at, you're behind that rock. You can't see that guy. You can't shoot. And you're like, dang it, okay. So that's cool. But there's also nothing nothing wrong with just strict imagination. Yeah. Where you just all from the mind. All from it's the like mind. You're 20 feet away. <sighs> you're within long range distance. And still move. What would you like to do? And you're like, I want to run behind the rock. And you're like, all right. You run behind the rock. And he says, don't worry, I got this. Wait, what? <laughs> Not that rock, the other rock. I want to <laughs> run behind I want to run behind the boulder. The boulder. <laughs> so, Not yeah. the rock. Not the rock. I don't have Dwayne Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne the Rock. No. Johnson. I don't have his number. I don't. His name is Dwayne, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Dwayne Johnson. For once, I think I might have got someone's name <laughs> you right. You did. Woohoo! You know who is a big D and D fan? Vin Diesel. Yes. Yeah. Maybe we can get him to come over. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I yeah. could. Yeah. I, I could get him to come over. Dude, we've got a big table. We do. Oh, and I think by this weekend I might actually have the uh, Vin Diesel. 
Yeah, I should have. The, I'll probably have the diesel before I have the tabletop on it. <laughs> it's probably more probable. <laughs> Stay tuned, everyone, this weekend. Vin Diesel. All right. Vin Diesel. Uh, that'd be cool. Uh, yeah. A, a game. Every game, 10 seconds at a time. <laughs> we'll just let him DM. Yeah. Excellent. I should have the tabletop, so you can put your papers and your books and your cups and everything on the on the ledge. Oh, that's cool. Alarms. Is it going to fold up and down? Um, it won't fold. I'm going to get some permo brackets, so I have brackets holding uh, up the okay. the side. Permo brackets. Um, but I also want to install a piano hinge on all of them, so that way I can take the brackets out and drop the arms. So if I ever need to move, okay, or whatever, the table will still. Still hinge. Still hinge. Okay. Still hinge. It's like Stonehenge, but it's still. It's, it's still Stonehenge. It's still hinge. It's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I ordered a mat, an insertable 48 inch by 48 inch mat. Oh my god. It's basically a four foot by four foot mouse pad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this PC gaming is legit. This is fun. Wow, you can really go places with this. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's all it is. It's a vinyl rubber mat with the graphic laid over it and everything. Um, but yeah, it's, it's four feet by four feet. So I'm really excited to see a four foot mouse pad. That's intense. Yeah, and it's going to fit right in the table. And then there will be a two foot gap of exposed spot. But that's where I have my DM screen anyway. So um, we don't actually need the six foot run. I wouldn't have minded it, but... I'd rather spend fifty dollars on this gaming mouse pad, this table mouse pad, than I would a hundred and forty um, for just a, a pure green one. So the one I was gonna get, it's a hundred and forty. Yeah, it's a hundred forty bucks. Jesus. And it it's four feet by six feet. It's basically like a. It looks kind of like a pool table insert. Yeah. But it's a little brighter green, and it goes in there. Um, I was like, well, I mean, that's that's just green. Like, yeah. This one that I ordered from Inked Gaming, Inked gaming.com cool place they got dice bags play mats all kinds of stuff dice bags you can even upload your own images and custom make that on things that's cool but I bought this mat from them 48 by 48 inches and it's a sort of grassland texture look to it yeah uh, so it can look like simulated ground or zoomed out you can put little buildings on it and it can look like a topographical geographical map kind of thing so so there's more stuff to do with it. I could have got grid lines on it to where it's the whole thing has already one-inch grid lines, but I was like, no, because that's going to kind of limit me, and I already have big plans to make a ton of miniature furniture stuff. So so I got plans. So it's going to be exciting. So <laughs> the table plans. is slowly coming together, slowly but surely. Yeah. It's so very exciting. Very exciting. Nice. You'll get to see it slowly build. Slowly. Yeah. I'm excited for those arms, though, because it's, it's really a bummer because, like, you can set your arms on it, it's only like a little four inch yep. thing. So it's great for that, but then you have your stuff in the table. Um, so I really want to get those that apron on the top so that way you can put your stuff on something. It would just yeah. be a little better. It's yeah. be a little better. A little better. A little butter. A little butter. A little butter in Table Town. <laughs> Where am I? You're in Table Town. You're a little butter and you're in Table Town. <laughs> I don't know. Your little slab of butter. <laughs> Just. Can you make it to the end before time runs out and you melt away in your misery? <laughs> oh, who put butter on the table? <laughs> That's little butter to you. Little butter in table town. Oh, how the tables have turned. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting really stupid. It's a game. It's an app on your phone. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's just funny. That's funny. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. It's, it's too much. much. See, you put too much butter in there. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Got to dodge steak knives and forks. And <laughs> this is starting to sound like a little cuphead now. A little cuphead. <laughs> now you're just a little piece of butter walking around, trying to develop. <laughs> Your little butter gun. <laughs> Hitting the toast monster. <laughs> yep, and this is why we don't get to make video games. 
<laughs> Seriously, video game creators, developers, directors, publishers, we are super excited. We are super interested. Yeah. Go ahead and talk to us. Reach out to us for creative investment ideas. We'd love to speak with you. And that is all. Mm. That is all. That's it. We're so taking applications. We are always taking applications. Yeah. For all things. <laughs> all things. Everything. All things. Everything. That's it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Taking applications for all things everything. All things everything. <laughs> That's the way to do it. There you go. That's all how we do it on everything. Old Guy and the Kid podcast. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, we've hit the hour 36 mark. Hour 36. Hour 36. Going to have to call it now. Do it. All right. Oh, wait. It's cl- closed down a long time ago. I can't call them anymore. <laughs> you remember it's? Yes. It was a it was a gaming place. It was kinda like round one. Yeah. Or you know, whatever. But yeah, it was it's it's was overpriced. Yeah, it was. Way overpriced. That claw machine over there? Six dollars. Yeah. For that empty claw machine. Yeah. Six dollars a try. No. Pass. Yeah. Pass. Yep, so they closed. It's closed. It's expensive. I'm glad they have all the new stuff now, like Dave and Buster's. And mm-hmm. Dave and Buster's, that was the other one. The Thank gaming you. gaming places that are more for adults. Cause yeah. Yep. Yeah. And see, they're smart because the new age kids don't want to leave their bedroom. They just want to play Fortnite on their phone. Yeah. Or their Switch. Or their toaster oven because <laughs> games are now on everything, apparently. You can now play games on your fridge because there's an LCD screen. With a USB port, plug in your Xbox controller and play... Call of Duty while you wait for your toast to get buttered on the table. Okay. (laughs) It's really stupid. Samsung fridges have... Yeah. You can Bluetooth to them. There are speaker systems now. Yeah. Alexa! And you just... Oh, goodness. It's killing me. So, these uh, arcade places are like, hey, let's go back to the roots. All these kids that wanted to go to these arcade places are now grown up. They're they're adults now. So, now it's... Dave and Busters and Round One and stuff. So it's time. So thanks, thanks for us. Thanks, thanks for thinking of us. For us, yeah. Thanks for us. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. thing. Excellent. Yeah. Egg salad. Egg salad. Well, we appreciate you being with us. Uh, burgers, not steaks. Right. Burgers. <laughs> burgers, not steaks. The format's all wrong. <laughs> the floor mat, it's all wrong. The floor mat, the floor mat's all wrong, guys. The floor mat's all wrong. You're walking on the wrong one. Yes. So burgers, not steaks. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Oh my god. We do appreciate you stopping by. Yes. Watching, listening, thinking about us. Yes. We love you. Hope to see you next time on Old Guy and the Kid podcast, where I am the kid. I'm the old guy, and remember to think about us. Don't forget to remember to think about us. (laughs) Until next time. Okay, thanks. Hi. And bye. Hi, bye. (laughs)